Good day everyone. Today our topic is about long division of polynomials. So let's start. Before we proceed to a long division of polynomials, let's be acquainted first on division algorithm. Let p of x and d of x be the polynomial in x when d of x is not equal to 0. Then there exists a unique polynomials q of x and r of x where r of x is 0 or a degree less than the degree of d of x such that so this will be the our division algorithm so if you find it hard to understand what it says so I will explain it to you by this example so imagine that 17 divided by, by, by 3 or in other form 17 over 3 so 17 here is the is the dividend. This is it. That is p of x, and 3 is the divisor. Now let's solve for the quotient. If we divide 17 by 3, we get 5. Then 5 multiplied by 3 is 15. 17 minus 15 is 2. So therefore, 5 is the quotient. So this is q of x, and this 2 is what we call the remainder. This is the case in polynomials. So if we want to form it into a polynomial into a division algorithm, 17 is equal to 3 times 15 plus 2. Now in this case, in polynomial, the, remi the remainder, uh, the quotient should be, or the remainder should be uh, 0 or a degree less than the divisor. So in order for it to, to be formed like this. Now, here are the steps in dividing polynomial using long division. First is we need to arrange the indices of the polynomial in descending order, replacing term or terms with zero. So later, I will illustrate to you on how to do that. Now, next, divide the first term and of the dividend of the polynomial to be divided by the first term of the divisor. This gives the first term of the quotient. Then multiply the divisor with the first term of the quotient. Subtract the product from the dividend, then bring down the next term. The difference of the next term will be the new dividend. And so, and note, remember that the rule of subtraction is changing the sign of the subtraction and then proceed to addition. Please remember this. Later, I will give emphasis on this in, in our example. Then, next is to repeat step 2 to 4 to find the second term of the quotient and continue the process until the remainder is obtained. This can be zero or lower in, in this index than the divisor. So let's try to do it in example. So in sample number one, divide this by this. So this polynomial divided by this polynomial. So again, the first step is to arrange the dividend into standard form. So let's check the, the the exponent of each variable. So we have 3, 2, 1. This is x raised to 0. So therefore, all of them are in this in descending order from 3, 2, 1, and 0. So our divisor is now good. So all we have to do is to plot them into our division sign, having our dividend inside and our divisor outside. Now, in case of in case of in case our given is x raised to 3 plus 1 then we need to as our dividend we need to put 0 x squared to complete all the indices it should be 3 uh, 3 x raised to 3 plus 0 x raised to 2 plus 0 x plus 1 so the main purpose of this is to complete this the indices from highest to lowest or in descending order there should be no blank in this yeah, exponent in this. So now let's proceed to the first step. Divide the first term of the dividend, we need here, by the first term of the divisor and here. So 3x divided by x is x squared. Then put that at the top of the, of the bar. Now let's multiply this. Let's multiply this to this binomial, to the whole divisor. So we have x squared times x is x, x raised to 3. 
And x squared times negative 3 is negative 3x squared. Now, let's subtract again. If we're subtracting polynomials or integers, is we just need to change the sign, then proceed to addition. In this case, this is positive and this is negative. All we have to do is to change the sign on it. Then proceed to addition. So this will be cancelled out. The negative 9x squared plus 3x squared is negative 6x squared. Then let's bring down 27. Now re let's repeat step number 2. Negative 6x squared divided by x. So we have negative 6x. The negative 6x multiplied by x minus 3. So we have negative 6x squared then negative 6x times negative 3 is positive 18x. Now let's proceed to subtraction. Let's change the sign. Com then let's uh, add them. Cancel this out. Then 27 minus 18 is 9x. Then bring down negative 27. Now 9x divided by x. The answer is 9. Now let's multiply 9 to x minus 3. 9 times x is 9x. Then 9 times negative 3 is negative 27. So again, let's try to change the sign. And this will cancel out, and this will also cancel out, and give us a sum of zero. So this is now the are the answer or the steps and how to divide a polynomial equation, a polynomial expression. Now remember this. Now let's identify the key components of this. This one is the fee of x, or the dividend. This one is the divisor, and this is the quotient, and this is the remainder. Now, let's write this in the form of this. And we have the this. So, 3x squared, 3x minus 3, that is the divisor. And this one as our quotient. No need to add plus 0 because it's only 0. So, uh, problems on dividing long division somehow differs from one problem to another problem. One problem could ask you to give the quotient all you have to do is to give this as the answer or to give the remainder and most probably those two or sometimes or most of the time they will ask you to write your answer in this form so hopefully this helps you now let's go to example number two let's divide this again 4x cubed minus 3x squared minus 8x plus 4 so by 2x minus 2 so again, let's arrange the dividend into a standard form and filling out the missing terms. So we have 3, 2, 1, and 0. So we are, we're good in, a, in our standard form. So let's divide the first term. 4x cubed divided by x. We have 4x squared. Then 4x squared times x times x minus 2. We have 4x, 4x cubed minus 18x squared because minus 8x squared. 4x squared times negative 3 is negative 8. Negative 8x squared. Change the sign. Then add them. Negative 3x squared plus 8x squared is 5x squared. Then bring down negative 8x. Then go back again to the beginning, to the step number 2. 5x squared divided by x. That is 5x. Then 5x times x squared is 5x squared sorry then 5x multiplied by negative 2 is negative 10x now let's change the sign and subtract and add them this will cancel out 8x plus 10x is 2x then bring down 4 then divide it again 2x divided by x is 2, then 2 multiplied by x is 2x, then 2 multiplied by negative 2 is negative 4. Change the sign, and the and if we combine it or we add it, the answer is 8. Now 8, eh, the degree of 8 is 0, because this is 8x raised to 0, and the degree of this is 1. 
so this is now less this is now less than one so therefore uh, we end our process here so now we put the answer like this so we have our divisor this is it our quotient and plus our remainder so that's that's it problem number three 6x cubed plus x squared minus 12x plus 5 divided by by 3x minus 4 the difference in this problem is we have a more than 1 uh, is greater than 1 the coefficient of x is greater than 1 so let's try this let's check it 3 2 1 and 0 so we're good so 6x cubed divided by 3x cubed so that is 2 x squared 2x squared multiplied by 3x we have 6x cubed 2x squared that times negative 4 we have negative 8x squared so let's change the sign then let's add them cancel this out this will become 9x squared bring down 12 negative 12 we have negative negative 12x so that's the answer now let's go back again to the second step 9x squared divided by 3x we have positive 3x 3x multiplied by 3x squared no I'm sorry 3x multiplied by x minus 4 the answer is x squared 9x squared minus 12x now let's change the sign, combine them, and the answer is 0. Now bring down 5. Now 5 is less, 1 less degree than the R, R divisor. So we stop here now. So let's put our answer in this. This is our divisor. This is our quotient plus our remainder. So that's our final answer. Now let's try this. Uh, as you can see, we are missing a term here because 4, 2, 1, and x raised to 0. We're missing x raised to 3. And our divisor is in second degree. So this is somehow challenging. But it's, it's not that difficult. So let's try to do this. Again, since we're missing x raised to 3, all we need to do is to add 0 x raised to 3 so that it would be completed. We have 4, 3, 2, 1, and 0. You should add 0 x raised to 3 after x raised to 4. So now let's divide this. 8 x raised to 4 divided by 2 x squared. So the answer should be 4 x squared. Uh, I made a mistake here. This should be written here instead of here because it has a second degree so pardon me on that so hopefully I could change that in a bit Just wait for me okay okay that's it now what we need to do is to change the, the, the change the sign so this should be negative so 4x squared multiplied by 2x is is x raised to 4 then 4x squared multiplied by x minus 1 is negative 4x raised to 3 then 4x squared multiplied by 2 is positive 8x squared so let's change the sign this should be negative I'm sorry then you combine like terms you cancel this out this one will become 4x cubed and this one will become negative 2x squared now bring down negative 3x so now we have this as our answer
Now, let's go back to step number 2. Let's divide this by this. 4x cubed, 4x cubed divided by 2x squared. The answer is 2x. Now, 2x multiplied by 2x squared, we have 4x cubed. 2x multiplied by negative x, we have negative 2x squared. 2x multiplied by 2 is positive 4. Now, let's change the sign on this. This will become negative, positive. This one will become negative. I just forgot to write it there. So, let's combine them. We have cancel this out. This one will also cancel out. And we got, this will become negative. We got negative 7x, then bring down 1. That's 1. As you can see, the degree of this polynomial is 1, and the degree of this is 2. So, this is less than this, so therefore we end our subtraction, our division there. So, we have we, that's, we have our divide, divisor, our quotient, and our remainder. So, let's try to show that in this form. And that's the final answer. Now, let's, let's divide x raised to 3 minus x raised to 2 minus 2x plus 6 by x plus 3. This one is in standard form and the terms are complete. So let's proceed to the division. x cubed divided by x is x squared. Now x squared multiplied by xx is x cubed. Now x squared multiplied by x plus 3 is 3x squared. Now let's, let's add them. And let's subtract them by changing the sign. And let's add. We have negative 4x squared, then bring down 2x. Now, negative 4x squared divided by x is negative 4x. Now, negative 4x multiplied by x is negative 4x squared. Negative 4x multiplied by 3 is negative 12x. Now, let's change the sign. And let's combine. Now, lastly, bring down positive 6. Now, 10x divided by x, the answer is 10. Then, 10 times x is 10x. Then, 10 times positive 3 is 30. Now, let's change the sign and combine. So, this will cancel out. So, 6 minus 30 is negative 24. So, this is our divisor. This is our quotient, and this is our remainder. So if you put that there, uh, see how the sign changes from positive to negative because this is negative 24. So plus negative is negative. So that's our answer. So that's all for our practice and our topic about dividing polynomials using long division method. So hope you learned something. Uh, watch out for our next topic about synthetic division. So that's all for today. Goodbye.